Well, this next story was sent to me by a listener to the show, and I always appreciate uh, when people bring uh, ideas to my attention. But it's a great example of how the government destroys employment opportunities, uh, causes prices to rise, and otherwise just screws up uh, the free market when it comes to occupational licensing laws. This one is in San Francisco. Uh, They have decided to require professional dog walkers to be licensed. In other words, if you want to walk somebody else's dog and you're going to charge them for it, you need to be licensed. Now, I don't know, you know what the pretense here is because you don't need any specialized training to walk a dog. You just take the leash and you walk and the dog does his business. And when he's finished, you stop the walk. Right. I mean, you don't need any courses in dog walking. You don't have to major in dog walking in school to walk a dog. You know, I've walked plenty of dogs. In fact, I used to live in the city when I was in junior high school. We had a dog and my brother and I walked a dog. We were kids. It was easy to do. Right. Um, And, you know, now in some cities you have to pick up after your dog. But again, no specialized training. You just have a bag and you pick up whatever your dog leaves. No big deal. Anybody can do it. Uh, But San Francisco says, no, no, no. You need a license to walk a dog. And they're actually they're not there's no training. They just want you to buy a license. And um, so they're also going to limit the number of dogs you can walk at any one time to eight. You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many people walk more than eight dogs simultaneously anyway. Uh, but in case you wanted to work, walk nine dogs. Now you can't. You can only walk eight. You also if you if you if you if you transport a dog in your car, then you need to have your car inspected on a regular basis. Uh, and you also need to carry a million dollars worth of liability insurance, which is a lot of insurance for most people to carry. Uh, so that would significantly increase your insurance if you want to have a million dollars worth of coverage. Not sure why having a dog in the back seat uh, makes you such a big risk. If it did, the insurance companies would probably be handling this on their own. Uh, but what is going on? Now, also, the city of San Francisco says that they're going to have two to four officers on patrol at all times. They're going to have 24-hour patrol of the parks uh, to enforce this because if they see somebody walking a dog, if they suspect that maybe they're a professional dog walker, maybe if you got two or three dogs, uh, be prepared to be approached and ticketed. If you cannot show proof that you are have a license, then you have paid your dues to walk the dog. Now, if it's your own dog, you also better have proof that those are your dogs or you're going to be wasting your day in court uh, trying to get the ticket dismissed on the grounds that you were walking your own dogs. Now, what is the real purpose of this? Right, Because it's not to protect the public. I mean, that's normally what they say about occupational licensing is they want to make sure that the public doesn't get ripped off by somebody who is marketing a service that they can't really do very well. And so they want to protect you uh, from having bad services. Right. Well, how do you get how, how does somebody walk your dog poorly? I mean, you really can't screw this up. I mean, as long as they, they walk the dog, the dog is walked. So there's no way that you're going to get a, a, a better quality Uh, walk, your dog is going to have a better walking experience uh, because he's being walked by a licensed professional versus just some non-licensed individual. So the real purpose, I believe, is twofold. One, to raise money for the city because the city gets extra money because they get to collect all the the fees and they get all the tickets from the people who are walking dogs without a license. But more importantly, it's the dog walkers. In fact, I'm sure some of the dog walkers probably got together and said, how do we charge more money to walk dogs? You know, we really want to charge more money, but we can't because there's too many people uh, that are willing to do it. After all, there's no qualification. Anybody can walk a dog, right? So if you're a dog walker and that's your profession, you got to deal with the fact that you got a lot of competition. So what can they do to charge more money? Eliminate the competition. How do you do that? require licenses, require all these steps to be taken so that there are fewer people walking dogs. Now, I bet there's a lot of people now that want to walk dogs. Just there's lots of people that are unemployed. Uh, they don't want jobs because they don't want to give up their unemployment benefits, so they probably walk dogs on the side. They get paid cash, right? No one's 1099, then there's no W-2s, right? You're walking dogs, someone hands you a 10 or a 20, you know, it's all good. 
right? So there's a lot of competition there uh, because there's a lot of people that want under the table cash jobs. And so that benefits the people who need their dogs walked. Who needs a dog walker? Somebody who has a job all day and their dog is at home and there's nobody to walk it. Uh, so the fact that you have a lot of people who are willing to walk your dog for some pocket change, everybody wins, right? The dog owner wins and the, 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 the walker gets to win. But now the government wants to come in and say, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't walk a dog in your spare time. You can't pick up some pocket change. You need to be a licensed professional. You need to be inspected. You need to be this, that, and the other thing. And the impact is going to be that there's going to be fewer people walking dogs. And, of course, probably now uh, the people who are paying dog walkers, maybe you're not going to be able to do it by cat. Maybe you're going to have to 1099 them now. Maybe it's going to have to be all above the bo- above board so there's more paperwork. Uh, so it's going to be more expensive. The dog walkers are going to charge more money now because they'll be able to. One, because they have to overcome the regulatory cost of complying uh, with the licensing requirements. Now, I don't even know how much more onerous these requirements will get over time, but I'm sure the dog walkers who are licensed, once they get their license, will start imposing more and more requirements on other people to make sure that fewer licenses are issued. That's how it works, right? You grandfather yourself in, pretty soon you'll have to have a degree in dog walking, um, you'll have to major in it, you'll have to have a certain number of courses in dog walking, maybe continuous education, which is what, you know, we've got in the broker dealer community, right? Where you have to keep on, you know, brushing up on your skills. They'll require uh, dog walkers to sign up for continuous education. So, you know, eventually, yeah, maybe they'll be able to get $20, $25 an hour to walk people's dogs. But of course, not that many people will be able to afford dog walkers. Uh, But again, here you have the government coming in uh, and, and screwing up the free market. There is no valid reason to require somebody to be licensed to do a task that anybody can do. It doesn't require any special training. You don't have to know any special knowledge. I mean, you don't have to have dog CPR in case the dog you're walking has a heart attack and now you have to revive him because anybody can walk their own dog. And if you can walk your own dog, you can walk somebody else's dog. You know, and, you know, and if you don't do a good job, then, you know, they're not going to hire you. I mean, I guess maybe if you walk the dog, but you don't stay out long enough and and the owner comes home and there's and there's pee and poop all over his house because the dog walker did a bad job. They're not going to hire that walker again. Right. Obviously. So there, there is no reason for the government to get involved here. The only reason is to collect money and to help the dog walkers earn more money than they could in a free market. And if this is a small example of what the government is doing all over the country with all sorts of occupations on a bigger scale. What we need to do is eliminate all of these occupational licensing laws. Let anybody who wants to practice an occupation from a dog walker right up to a trial attorney, you know, and, and let the market sort it out. Let, let, let people advertise. Let the consumer beware. Let's have a free market and then we'll have a more employment opportunities and lower prices and everybody will win. 855-4SHIFT. That's our number. We'll be taking some calls after this. Yeah, 